Hi there. My name is Steve Schwartz, and I'm the founder of the LSAT blog. I've been coaching the LSAT for over 10 years now. And one thing I've noticed is that sometimes students need training wheels before getting into specific LSAT questions. Sometimes drills and exercises can be useful. And that's what these workbooks provide. They kind of break things down into their component parts so that you can work on and practice a particular skill before doing questions of that type. So I think a lot of students who are looking to emphasize the basics and practice them will find these workbooks useful. I don't think you necessarily need to work on every single page or every single exercise of all the workbooks though, because that would altogether be about a thousand pages when you take these three workbooks and combine them collectively. I would suggest instead you pick and choose certain areas based on your weak areas and focus on those. And if you're not sure whether you'll need all three workbooks, you could start by just getting one of them and then getting the others. If you were going to get only one, I'd probably suggest the games workbook because that one is an area that students tend to have more trouble with in terms of understanding the basic concepts and applying them and diagramming. So I would start there, but then if you just feel like you don't know anything and you need a resource that will cover it all for you, giving you drills and exercises, then get the full trilogy. If you have any questions at all about applying to law school or taking the LSAT, please feel free to reach out. I'm a real person and I love hearing from students. So in the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.